election to Deputy Inspector Generals, five AIJs, four police commissioners deployed over security threats. Please, if this is your first time seeing our video, do not forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Now the news in details. The Inspector General of Police Osman Okali Baba has ordered a measure overhauling of the security landscape in Anambra State ahead of the gubernatorial elections scheduled for next week Saturday. This was disclosed in a statement signed by the first spokesman, Frank Kumba. According to the statement, the overhauling includes the deployment of selected season strategic commanders from the rank of assistant commissioner of police and above to Anambra State for effective supervision of security personnel and operations in the elections. The IGP noted that Deputy Inspector General of Police Joseph Ebunike has been deployed to Anambra State as the coordinator of the security component of the elections. DIG Ebunike is saddened with the responsibility of overseeing the implementation of the operation order involved from the sec election security threat assessment to ensure a peaceful in environment devoid of violence and conducive enough to guarantee that law-abiding citizens freely perform their civic responsibilities without molestation or intimidation. DIG Ebunike will be assisted by the DIG in charge of operations, acting DIG Zaki Ahmed. Other strategic commanders deployed to Anambra State include five assistant inspectors general of police, 14 commissioners of police, 31 deputy commissioners of police, and 48 assistant commissioners of police. The senior officers are to coordinate human and other operational deployments in the three senatorial districts, 21 local government areas, and the 5,720 polling units in a number of states. The IGP reassures the nation that the force is adequately prepared for the gubernatorial elections in Anambra State come November 6, 2021. He reiterates that the force will, be do, will do everything within its power to work with the Independent National Electoral Commission and the stakeholders to protect democratic values, provide level playing field for all political actors, ensure adequate protection of voters, INEC personnel and equipment, accredited observers, and other key players in the number of states. The IGP calls on citizens in Anambra State to come out in mercy and exercise their franchise as adequate security has been in place to protect them before, during, and after the elections. The development comes as the indigenous people of Biafra issued threats that the November 6th governorship election in Anambra State would not hold if its, if its leader, Anambra, if its leader Nanda Kano was not released before then. IPOB said the election will not hold if its Kano was not released unconditionally by November 4th. Kano has been detained by the Department of State Services after he was redshawed from Kenya to Nigeria by the Mohamedou Buhari led government. The group had also said there will be a seven day lockdown of the southeast zone court sit at home protest. It had also warned residents of the zone against floating the impending, impending sit at home directive. I just want to ask a question. Is this a free and fair election or a war? Because I am not getting this country and the government at all. This is just showing that this that there is no peace and there is nothing like one Nigeria. The government asked the citizens to come out in mass to vote while the IPOB has made a sit-at-home order if their leader, Mazi Inanda Kano, wasn't released before November 4th. Even though the government wants to or trying to protect the lives of citizens and voters by deploying forces for the upcoming election, the voters are not even sure of their security. Truth is, in this country, people are no longer 
People are now living in fear and no one would want to risk their lives for the election. Well, let's know what Nigerians are saying. The first comment I have here, from what I am seeing, elections will hold in Anambra. There would be enough soldiers, policemen, DSS, NSCDC, FRSC, or non-governments and other security agents to vote. <laughs> Okay, the four should vote for their choice. All this just to help IPOB achieve the goal of boycotting the election. Trust me, no one will see all this heavy security and still come out to vote. Nigeria is seeking. The people are starving. Frustration is rising. Poverty is winning. Traders are suffering. The buyers are hopeless. The pains are not ending. Gomi is happy. Bandits are raping. Malami is smiling, the Fulanis are gaining, farmers are slaughtered, Buhari does not care, Ibos are angry, the hatred is, un- is inborn, Naira is valueless, they said M- MMK is the reason, Nigeria is going down, they insist that Kano is a problem, how did we get here, we, we do we live here, okay, uh, someone said all oh, because people all because people are about to decide who will govern them for another four years. What a country. Foolishness is when you empty barracks to ensure election holds when voters have resolved to stay indoor all day for their safety. Common sense is lacking in Nigeria leadership right now. Election must still hold in Anambra no matter the gang by IPOB. Okay. Uh, those uh, port bellied senior officers cannot even be around, apart from holding small staff protruding their heavy stomachs, fighter and hythia, and dishing out others that are even strange to their ear, own ears, to their junior colleagues. So we are not bothered, we are sitting at home to watch their drama, misplacement of priority. Mm. These people just wasting money for nothing. After deploying all their officers, what if no one come out to vote? Are they going to be forcing them out from their homes to vote to come and vote? Well, in this election, we and them will choose who owns the city and the land. Oh, Nigerians are uh, keep uh keep um putting their comments and they uh, they keep saying their mind and giving their own ideas. Someone said no election in an umbrella state. We'll see tonight. Um, funny part is that no one is threatening the election. IPOB simply told its members to sit at home. Federal government would find out that all evils are IPOB in this election. Well, this is the news for today. Do not forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. And do not forget to always share to your loved ones for more updates. Thanks for listening.